Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another weekly vlog where I show you what I am listing and selling on Etsy and eBay. I sell uh, mostly vintage jewelry and vintage textiles, although I haven't been doing many textiles lately, and um, other, you know, small mailable items that I find interesting. And I also do haul videos where I, when I acquire groups of things from flea market or from a relative or whatever, I show you what I have hauled in. And if you like this channel, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. I love comments. And share with your friends. And with that, I'm going to start by showing you what I have sold today. I've had three orders today. All three are necklaces. We have this mustard seed in plexiglass pendant necklace that sold for $25. We have, I just listed this a couple of days ago. This is a silver plated ball bead necklace. Very nicely made. Looks a lot like the sterling ones that you see. Nobody would ever know it wasn't sterling. That also is $25. And lastly we have this um, Native American style. Let's see, is it signed? No, it's not marked at all. It's probably Native American because it's not marked at all. And it's tested as sterling silver and turquoise. And that sold for 26 It's on a new silver plated chain, which I added. So, that is today's business. Hi there, it is Tuesday morning and I'm going to first off show you a bunch of stuff that I've listed in the last couple of days. Okay, I'm going to start off with this um, NASCO Japan uh, kind of a condiment set. We have an oil and oil and vinegar um, cruets and these are the Del, it's the Del Coronado pattern. And that's with all these cute vegetables. Now, strangely enough, I don't know why, but the vinegar cruet doesn't have a V on it. All the others are marked. That one has o, o for oil. Salt and pepper are marked with S and P. Oops. They're so cute. Um, the only problem is uh, the tops are missing from the cruets, but, I mean, you don't really need tops. I mean, I wouldn't store my oil and vinegar in these anyway. I would... I would put them in there for a, di a meal and then either throw out the leftover or put it back in in the jar or whatever. I don't so I don't know. It doesn't bother me that they don't have tops. But anyway, I have um, listed all four pieces together for thirty-six dollars. And uh, let's see, we have this. Oh, thank you so much to two of my faithful watchers. Um, told me that this is a quiver for poison darts for a blowgun. And I was like, wow! And I started doing research on it, and by golly, that's exactly what it is. It comes from the Amazon, and it has a bunch of the darts in there already. Both people told me to be careful handling them. They might have poison on them. <laughs> that would be a terrible way to die if I killed myself by getting poked by a poison dart with curare. But anyway, um, I decided this seemed like more of an eBay item, so I put it on eBay, and it sold for $45. Um, listed a Zuni fetish necklace. It's got a porpoise and a bunch of cute little animal fetishes. We've got bears. We've got anteaters. I love the anteaters. They're so cute. And I should know what this green stone is, but I don't. It's kind of a gray-green stripy stone. Um, there's little hummingbirds. Some really cute animals. And uh, that I listed for uh, 85 um, And we have this brooch made from an antique gold-filled watch case, which I think is really neat. It's got beautiful, beautiful engravings. Very Victorian looking. I'm pretty sure it's an old, old one. And then uh, there was some writing. It, I can't, it's so tiny and so faint, I don't think there's any way you'll be able to see it. 
but I got out my magnifying glass and figured out what it said and it was a service a watch repair person's initials and then it said main which I assume means they did something to the mainspring and then it had an, a date after it of 1924 so we know that the watch was still a watch in 1924 um, I'm guessing this is perhaps a mid-century deal but I don't really know when it was converted but anyway it's cute it's different it's one of a kind and I listed that for 29 and then we have this cute sterling silver fishy Mexican silver uh, on a really nice handmade chain it's a beautiful chain um, both are Mexican silver both are marked with an eagle um, the chain has eagle mark 3 and um, the fish has eagle mark 153 or something like that I wasn't able to find out anything about the artist they're both um, listed in the Bill, Bill Hogart book of Mexican marks but there's no further information on them um, so the fishy listed for 58 this um, filigree turquoise ring oh that's my timer to let me know my yogurt is coming along I need to go do something with it but I'll do it in a minute okay um, let's see so this is kind of a little it's like a little dome ring almost with beautiful turquoise and the mark which is like it's like a dollar sign but only has one slash through it instead of two and a copyright symbol this um, mark belongs to George Schuler and Company <clears throat> I think of Pleasantville New York I think it was somewhere in New York anyway <coughs> excuse me uh, the company was bought by Kremitz in the 60s but Kremitz continued to use their mark and I don't know how long that went on so I really it wasn't very helpful in dating the ring but anyway I thought it was nice it's also Mark Sterling and um, let's see that uh, listed for 32 two three four five six I thought was, is that everything oh I know chandelier drops uh, I don't I've already put them up in inventory but I had a bunch of stray chandelier drops a big pile of them and I just put them all in one big lot and listed them for 39 and put them in my Karen Lebo shop. The links to both my shops are down in the description. And I probably haven't mentioned it lately that all of these prices I'm quoting you are free U.S. shipping. So, um, yeah. Okay, I think that's it for the new listing. So here are the two items that I sold today. I've got this sterling silver um, Mexican puffer fish and he's going back to Mexico Mexico City and he sold for uh, $56 and then this bracelet Canateal bracelet is going to one of my best customers you know who you are for uh, $63 that actually includes a 10% discount that my YouTube watchers can get just by using the coupon code of YouTube thanks YouTube thanks all one word Shh, it's a secret just for you guys um, okay that's it for today it is Wednesday morning and we are at our bicycling meeting ground where we're waiting for our friends to get here it is an absolutely gorgeous day in the 50s very light breeze just really nice to be alive. I know you're probably tired of seeing the same spot, but this is where I stop. Hi there, it is Wednesday evening, and I have been just pretty worthless today. Sometimes on bicycling days, I just come home and collapse and watch videos and lie in bed and cuddle my cat and don't do anything. <laughs> There's really no excuse for it just a terrible habit but anyway I did have a nice sale today all of these three sterling silver brooches are going to the same buyer 
in Japan. I think she may, she or he, I don't know, may be a, a watcher. So thank you if you're out there, you know who you are. Um, so uh, this one has is a bar pen with marcasites and a real pearl. And that one was 29 And then this is a little floral brooch. Let's see, is this one marked? Um, no, there's no maker mark on this one. 35, no, 31 on that one. And then this one is, this one is all hand wrought, hand stamped, really beautiful. Um, it's also, don't think it's signed by a maker. And that one was 35. Hi there, it is Thursday morning and um, I'm kind of taking the day off today because we have uh, Rob's sister is visiting us. This is yet a third sister, and she brought me some things, so I'll be showing those soon in a haul video. But um, we're just hanging out today, so. And I don't have any orders to fulfill, I don't think. So, probably won't be back with video until tomorrow, Friday. But I did want to show you this beautiful frame that I got at a thrift store. Um, we walked, Jane walked with us to the post office, and then we stopped at this, um, the AIDS assistance thrift store, which is right next to the post office. I should go in there more often because they have cool things. Now this has got a little chip right there, but I'm going to repair that. I think I know just how to do it. Anyway, it was two dollars. And these mother of pearl frames, I've sold them before. They seem to do really well. This is a nice small size. So anyway, um, I don't think I have any other listings to show you because I've been I've, I've been, what can I say, lazy? Is that the word? <laughs> I've been lazy this week. We are having baked potatoes tonight for dinner. My sweet babu is fixing them as we speak. We're not going to eat all those tonight. We'll have leftovers. Hello, it is Friday evening, and here are the items that I will be shipping off tomorrow. Um, first off, we have this gigantor silver brooch of a walking man with a I don't know what he's got it looks like a bundle of bread on his back <laughs> maybe he's a baker uh, and it's got some birds and stuff it's from Peru really neat it's all hand stamped hand cut and very heavy and that was fifty four dollars and then this pair of really old clip-on sunglasses with a little pouch that they go in kind of Fold nice and flat and fit in your vest pocket or something. And those were uh, 42. This is how my cat likes to sleep. Look at her feet. <laughs> She's so silly. So it is Saturday morning and we are just going crazy. We went out to eat for the, well, not the first time. But we hardly went out to eat at all ever in the last two years, so it's such a treat now when we get to. And look, there's Rob's modest little breakfast. He only has a small breakfast, and I get all this. <laughs> guess where I am? You know, you don't have to guess. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. Hello there. It is Sunday night. I look about as exciting as a wet noodle because I survived the flea market today. Oh, it was so hot. And it was only in the 80s, but it seemed like it was 100 million degrees. So I came home quite wilted. But I do have some sales to show you, some weekend sales. So let's get started. Okay, first up we have some of these lovely embroidered Turkish textiles. Um, little, little tiny pieces of cloth to make something or little tiny towels. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but um, but these are some that, that my sister-in-law gave me and these ones in, are in really good condition. And um, those sold for $35. Uh, then we have this pretty good sized turquoise chunk uh, pendant with sterling silver, Navajo made. And that sold for 59 And we have a carved jadeite jade pendant. 
in an eagle form. And that sold for, um, I've lost it. Uh, for heaven's sake. 36. And then uh, this is a lot of two pair of Japanese damascene earrings. The larger pair are particularly nice. Very nice work on them. And uh, they're signed also. So I sold those two pair together for 26. And then we have these are some guilloche enamel cufflinks in a very beautiful cobalt blue with some kind of curly. They may not strictly be guilloche enamel because I don't know if those are machine made patterns or handmade. I don't know. Anyway, they sell for 23. And then these are the moonstone earrings that I listed recently, moonstone and sterling silver. And those sold for 27. So, it all adds up. And I guess that shall conclude yet another exciting weekly vlog for me, for Vintage Dazzle. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do usually about a couple of videos a week. I show you what I bought, what I've listed, and what I'm selling, and sometimes whatever else is going on. And I probably already told you that at the beginning of this vlog, but, you know, that was a week ago, so I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you again soon. Bye!